I want the audience to experience uh, a fresh sound, uh, nine individuals, and a connection to jazz as a Obviously, he comes from an from, from American art form, jazz, but he has a different set of ears. He, and you'll, you'll hear it when you hear the music, it has a European flavor to it. Jazz is important to, it's an important art form, but it's also kind of, um, been forgotten in America, and America uh, is the birthplace of jazz, and it's and it's alive and well, even though it's not supported uh, in any kind of commercial sense. I, I think at at the performance, the audience is going to feel the energy of the band. We have a lot of fun playing this music, and it really comes through. With that, there's a lot of space for solos. The ensemble work is fun and challenging, and I think they'll pick up on all that. New Net is unique because the music is all brand new, and uh, all these comp compositions are uh, original and original arrangements. And chance to explore some some uh, new ground musically and a little taste of uh, the traditional because uh, in Oliver's music there's a, a dose of a little bit of the old and and something new writing style allows for a, a you know group interaction um, he's got sort of a, a a style that when when he writes it almost sounds like uh, it's improvised in a way but it's of course not it's been orchestrated and everything I've been working with Adam Kessler and John Hansen as a trio, the three of us, for several years, and we have a chemistry between us that feels really good, so it's this kind of earthy foundation upon which these great soloists are set. Well, did, I think people should see Nunet just because um, of the direction that it's taking jazz and, and the direction that Ollie is trying to go. I've always been interested in those in-between bands, those bands that are neither big band nor small group. It offers lots of possibilities for the composer and arranger to, uh, to open up things a bit and uh, also to have a sufficient variety of textures and timbres of the various horns and enough voices to be able to do some really interesting writing harmonically. Um, in, in the case of, uh, of a group like NuNet, there's also plenty of room for soloists to stretch out too. So to me, it's kind of the best of both worlds. 